Oh, hey, beautiful. How are you? Hi. Can you introduce yourself to the camera for me? It's me, Sophia Rose. We call me Snapchatting. <laughs> How did you pick your stage name? Um, when I was growing up, everyone used to tell me that I looked like Sophia Loren. And so she was like my idol growing up. And um, I took her first name and changed the spelling. And that's how I got Sophia. And then Rose is the stage name that my mom used to use under Lydia Rose. And so that's how Sophia Rose was born. <laughs> so when did you decide to start getting into this career in modeling? So I was approached by a photographer in um, 2005. And I was like, you want me to do what? And people pay for this? And I thought he was crazy. Um, but he convinced me to let him do some test shots. And so I did three test sets. And I sent them into magazines. And everybody got back to me within 48 hours. You hear him? That's 14 awesome. years later. <laughs> I'm still here. What's your favorite song to listen to when you're online? Mm, I have a real hard on right now for Post Malone. And there's not one song but his newest album, um, I think it's called Hollywood is Bleeding, is fucking phenomenal. Like, it gets me horny, it puts me in a mood, like, I wanna dance, I wanna freak out. Like, I just, it puts me in a, like, overall good headspace. But there's a couple of you artists, like, that do that for me. But right now, Post Malone's the man. <laughs> Leather or lace? Ooh, so, the le both. Yeah. <laughs> Leather appeals to my dominant side a lot. But I'm vegan, so no leather, all synthetic. And then the lace, because I still really am kind of a girly girl, and I like pretty things, so kind of would like the lace too. So. Heels or flats? <sighs> Adidas. <laughs> and this uh, is why, like I'm an accident waiting to happen and I'm in wedges right now. <laughs> um, do you have a fan centro crush? Not off the top of my head, but I could have a fan <laughs> central crush. Um, is it true you hate bananas? Do I hate bananas? I'm a vegan and those are like every single morning breakfast with some dates. <laughs> I was just about to ask you, what's your favorite breakfast? Um, it's usually some sort of breakfast taco, but, oh, here we go. I made it. Yay! Um, usually a breakfast taco that's eggless, but I often find myself just going for fresh fruit first thing in the morning. It feels good on your body, so. Um, how do you like to start your day? I spend several hours in bed doing all my social media and getting all my posts ready for the day. So it's not that I like to start it that way, it's just the way it is every morning. <laughs> how about coffee or tea? Why do you have to make me make so many decisions today? <laughs> I like both. Coffee when it's warm, but tea almost every day. Do you have a favorite book? A favorite book? The Bible. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't do a whole lot of reading, and it's not that I'm illiterate. I'm just not a patient person. So um, I do like a lot of like short stories and I can't think R.H. Sin I think is the guy's name and it's like poetry um, over like relationships on heartbreak and things like that. I'm kind of a sap <laughs> for those types of things. Uh, where are you from? Um, born and raised right here in Los Angeles, um, but I currently live in Las Vegas. What do you miss the most when you're away from home? When, my dog. <laughs> I like my heart breaks for my dog every day. Like I, I want to go home already. I'm homesick because I miss my dog. Yeah. Where's your favorite place to travel to and why? <sighs> that is a tough question because I am very well traveled and I love every place that I visited. I would say Australia was probably my favorite and I would go back there to live if I could. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite drink? Water. It's not really my favorite. It's just the one I know I'm supposed to like the most. Yeah. <laughs> Let's if sit upstairs. You could Come on. Go out, um, have a drink with anyone in the world. Who would it be? Jesus. I have a lot of unanswered questions. <laughs>
What do you like to do when you're out with your friends? <sighs> Ironically, I don't have a ton of friends. Um, so I really engage in these type of social events for the industry because that's my family and those are my friends. Um, because otherwise when I'm home, I'm kind of a homebody and I just sleep a lot or get massages and then sleep some more. But that's not very often. <laughs> So say we're all doing karaoke tonight, which song are you singing? Dancing Queen and all off tune because I will be four or five drinks in by that point. <laughs> Do you have a hidden talent? Um, I don't know that it's hidden. <laughs> I make things disappear in my cleavage. But it's not really a secret because everybody sees that on film all the time, right? Right. <laughs> How about, um, is there a dream gig that you want to achieve someday? Oh, I would love to shoot for Greg Lansky and change the, like, not his vision, but just his perspective on women. And I feel like I would love to be the representative for plus size in his um, niche. At the same time, I understand that people have their own brands and visions, so I respect where he is. Um, otherwise, I would think that... If I had any opportunity and actually like in Hollywood, that would be fucking amazing. But that, that's like a childhood dream that I've kind of given up on. <laughs> Where do you want to be in nine years? I want to be um, possibly retired and on my own animal sanctuary and rescue for dogs. That's awesome. Where do you find your inspiration from? Everybody around me, um, the things around me. I live in Las Vegas and there's just so much culture there and I love it. And just interacting and collaborating with other uh, content creators um, really gives me a lot of inspiration. I'm always inspired and and admire what I see other people doing and I'm really fascinated by what other people do. So. Describe House of Fan Centro in three adjectives. House of Fan Centro in three adjectives. Fun, creative, and... I ran out of adjectives. <laughs> Um, inspirational, yeah. Last question, um, do you have any messages to your female fans? Never think, never hold yourself by, back by your fear and always think of what could happen in a positive way and not what could go wrong in a negative way. Well, thank you so much for taking the time with us today. We really appreciate it. Mwah. <laughs>